Hi everyone, welcome to VLSI Academy. This is lecture on placement related concepts and today we will understand about placement of standard cells. So far we have seen what are the inputs needed to start the physical design process and how do we create the library. Once the library with all inputs is created, then design is started with floor planning exercise in which we have seen details about pin placement and macro placement related guidelines and other information in detail. Once a floor plan is done, then we will take the database forward to the placement stage. Now the first question is what are the inputs needed to start the placement stage? We need floor plan database to start the inputs. Sometimes floor planning is done in a different tool from that of PNR stage. It totally depends on the chip manufacturing company what kind of flow do they follow. Anyway, Netlist, DEF, UPF are mandatory partition specific inputs which are needed by the placement tool. Apart from this, technology and standard cell related physical and timing view files are needed to start the design. If the tool is Synopsys, we provide standard cell NDM, wherein NDM stands for new data model, which contains physical and timing view of the cells together. Hence, we can write that these are partition specific inputs which we provide. So this is partition specific and these are generic inputs that we provide as an input to the placement stage this is also an input this is also an input before placing the standard cells we do the quality check in quality check we have to check for certain things let us assume that these are our ports in the bottom right side of the design and we will check first thing that we will check is your io ports so what should be the IO ports? They should be placed. IO should be placed properly and they should be fixed so that tool will not move it during optimization. That is the first check. Second check is your macro placement. This already we have seen many times. This is just a revision, quick revision here. So macro placement should be done and your macros should be also fixed attribute so that tool will not move them also during the optimization. Second thing we will check is your row creation is done. We have explained that in one of the previous video that how do we do the row creation. Then you have to see for adding of placement blockage. So if you need any placement blockage somewhere, you will add that. And what happens in many of the companies is tool will place the blockages over the macro itself so that there should not be any standard cell though the tool will not do it anyhow but still for the safer side uh, what flow does is it will place a uh, hard, hard placement blockage over the macro area so that in by mistake also tool should not place any standard cells over the macros any mistake also should not happen so it is you can say additional safeguarding of your uh, macros so that also uh, that such kind of placement blockages are applied and sometimes you also apply somewhere where you do not want the uh, placement of the standard cells to be done sometimes in the channels so that also should be done next point is that we have to check before your uh, placement of standard cells done is your power routing so power routing is properly done that you have to check and after that you will check for you will check for no violation in the PG. So your PG shots should not be there and your you have to check for your macro overlaps. So macro overlaps should not be there. Any overlap should not be there in fact for that matter. So these are the quality related checks that you do, do before you start any kind of placement. After the quality check is done, we will check for tree placement of cells. We have discussed that briefly in the previous videos also that pre-placement means the standard cells before that we add some end cap cells. So what are the pre-placed cells is the cells which are added before the placement of your standard cells. So adding of end cap cells then your tab cells we have discussed that what are the end cap cells and then what is the purpose of tab cell we have already discussed that and if you have seen that video then it is good and if you have not please go and visit that and if you have any doubts please do ask them in the comment section and this io buffering is also sometimes we do so io buffering means if that you have any ports here and you know that these ports needs buffering anyway or sometimes these are feed throughs so if you have feed throughs in your design then also you need to buffer them before you start any placement because 
if these are any critical or if you want to place buffer them later on then it might be difficult so we do that anyway before the starting of your standard cells so that is called as io buffering or sometimes if you have any feed throughs in the design that is feed through buffering so this is all you have to do before you start your placement of the standard cell apart from this if you have any spare cells that needs to be added then you add the spare cells also purpose of all these cells this spare cell tap cell or end cap cell we have already discussed and we would like to know from you if you know the answer please do mention that in the comments section in the video so that we will come to know that whether you have understood that properly or not next thing is we have placement of the standard cells so after this all pre placement of the standard cell is done, pre placement cells are placed so after that we will start placing of standard cells so once this is done then your placement will start from here so placement will start after this let us not make this video boring by stretching it further we shall be looking about more about placement related stuff in next video please do like share and subscribe to the channel thank you